Welcome to the Hunter's Advantage channel. I'm Christian Babcock, founder of the Hunter's Advantage. If things look a little different, maybe in the background here, um, it's because my good friend's girlfriend, Haley Meyer, made me this awesome Hunter's Advantage, um, I guess, poster or background canvas, you could call it. Um, I really like it. I'm so excited to get a house so I can actually put it near some of my deer mounts and use it as a backdrop, but big shout out to Haley. Today on the channel, I'm gonna be focused on the Bomar nose button. What it is, how it works, should you get one? Those are the questions that we're gonna be answering. I ended up using the nose button for the duration of the 2020 season, and it actually had some pretty good results. So I'm gonna share with you how that worked out for me. So a great great place to start would be what is the nose button? So I have one on my Matthews tracks right here. It is this little button right here. Um, to be, I guess, really straight to the point, um, the nose button is an anchor point, um, but it's one of the only anchor points that gives you feedback. So when you're here and you're anchored in your bow, Typically a lot of people you'll see them using a kisser button, but this has a spine in the nose button that actually touches the tip of your nose. So the tip of your nose is actually extremely sensitive and you feel that instant feedback in the tip of your nose. So I use it this year as a way uh, to stay consistently anchored and it's almost to me, it felt like an insurance policy. So if you've shot in any, or in a variety of situations, you know that um, not, you don't always, you're not always able to, you know, get in full draw, get all three of your anchor points, have plenty of time to squeeze off on the trigger. Sometimes, you know, you're, you got your bot, you got your, your bow drawn on an animal and you're meh, stop, meh, meh. You're trying to stop something, you're trying to get into your sight real quick. What this does, as soon as I hit my jaw, corner of my mouth, and I feel the poke of that nose button, I'm going, I'm going. And the diameter of the point that actually touches your nose is so small and precise um, that it just provides such a consistent anchor point. So the nose button for me worked really well this fall. I used it to shoot uh, five different deer this fall. So for me, the nose button worked really well. I see a lot of people using it. You see like Bowlife Levi and the Bomars using the nose button and it is exactly, it works exactly as well as they advertise it too. I would recommend one, especially for I think sub $20 you get two pieces of serving, two different size nose buttons. I like to go with the smaller one just because if I'm going for something uh, as precise as anchoring, I wanna be as small and as precise as I can. But nose button worked extremely well for me this year. Uh, worked on a big eight point that I shot on public land. Another freaking giant. Enough. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It worked on another big eight that I shot on private land over some corn. And then actually, it it helped me kill a, a nice. Texas buck, my first buck ever in Texas. So I couldn't recommend the nose button enough. It's a great product. It's probably one of the most valuable products that I've ever put on my bow, just because for sub $20, the ability and how much accuracy you're gonna get out of the nose button is worth its weight in gold. Um, you know, so I definitely recommend the nose button. I think it's gonna make you a more accurate archer. I think the proof is in the pudding. Uh, get one, try it out, and for less than 20 bucks, you really, um, it's worth a try. Even if you don't like it, it's definitely worth a try. I used it, it works. It's definitely a product that I'm gonna continue to use uh, going forward, even though I'm, I've got my triax all stripped out, no sights, just the rest left on it to be sold, uh, I'm gonna put it on my next bow. 
Next bow is probably going to be a little bit longer, longer axle to axle bow, probably a PSE Evo um, NTN 33 or a Matthews V3 31. So either way, getting a longer axle to axle bow, but the one thing that's going to remain constant on that bow is the Bowmar nose button. I'm going to add it. Uh, you know, you you couple that, the jaw anchoring, the corner of the mouth, and this precise tip of the nose. I promise you, it's going to make you a better archer. It's worth the investment. I know this, is a bit, it, this isn't a video going over the setup, but the setup's super easy. Snap it on the string, move it around, tie it in with serving, and you're done. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video gave you a quick glance at the nose button and uh, kind of what it does as, a, as an anchor point. If you like this kind of content from the Hunter's Advantage, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys following along with the journey. And by the way, I'm going to add a link to our merch in the description of this YouTube video. So if you're rocking with the Hunter's Advantage, if you're subscribed, you're enjoying the content, feel free to pick up a hoodie, a shirt, coffee mug, whatever. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.